Hello everybody, it's Alina, and in today's video, we are building these two family townhouses in the world of Brindleton Bay in The Sims 4, obviously. So, as you can see, I did build two houses, and I built them on a 30 by 30 lot, and I only decorated one of the houses. I decorated the one on the left, and I didn't choose the left one because it's, like, better than the other one because they are completely identical, but just mirrored. So, I just, like, had to choose one, so I chose the left one, and with the way that I I did the floor plan. This is a four bedroom and two bathroom house. So it's the right one because they have the same floor plan as well. But yeah, it's a four bedroom and two bathroom house. And in total, it fits six Sims with the way that I decorated it. Because on the first floor, I put like the parents' bedroom that fits two Sims in total. And on the second floor, we've got the three kids' bedrooms. And there's one that fits two teenagers, one that fits one kid. And then the last bedroom fits one tile. There. so that is six sims in total and i feel like one thing that's kind of like impractical about this house or these houses rather is that i only like put bathrooms on the second floor because i couldn't really make a bathroom fit into the floor plan on the first floor so that is a little bit <laughs> not ideal but i don't know it was just what i had to do so your sims are gonna have to walk upstairs to use the bathroom which might be a little bit not so great sometimes but that is just how it is i guess <laughs> and also before i get too far into this voiceover i just want to let you know that i am currently dog sitting and the dog that i'm dog sitting is currently sleeping behind me so if you hear somebody snoring and just making little noises throughout this voiceover that's just him his name is max and he's really cute so yeah i am dog sitting and that's just why you might hear some little noises once in a while but that's okay he's a really cute boy but i had a lot of fun with this build i really do love to do these builds where i put multiple houses on one lot i think it's so much fun and i just really enjoy doing it every time and i feel like it's so realistic because in like in real life a lot of houses are connected and not all houses have a lot of room in between them like i know personally i live in row houses so like my house is just like on a row with a bunch of other houses so yeah it's definitely not just like a house that's standing alone and i feel like it's just super realistic for houses to be connected in one way or another so i really like to do houses or lots like this rather i think it's super fun and i really enjoyed decorating the inside of it because i kind of like did it in my favorite style and like my favorite way to decorate family houses not that i necessarily like think that it looks the best because i have a lot of like interior styles that i enjoy but i think this style like this very cozy and cluttered style you'll see what i mean when we get into the interior but i think that's like my favorite style to do because i just i think it's so cozy to like clutter it up and just add a bunch of like fun family items so i really really did enjoy building and furnishing this house and i just i really liked it and i do really like the outcome of it in the end so i hope you all like it as well and i hope you like these houses and if you do want to play with them like in your own gameplay obviously you can just download these houses on my gallery page my id is lazy elena if you did not know that already but yeah you can download them on there and obviously you can just either choose to live in the house that i already did decorate or you can choose to ignore that one and furnish the other one if you want to do that and as i think i did say i did do a floor plan for that house as well but that's just like as a little guideline obviously if you can think of something better you can just demolish that floor plan and redo it but i think it's a pretty like decent floor plan obviously there aren't any bathrooms on the first floor but you can change that if you feel like there's a better flip hand that you can think of, I suppose. But yeah, I hope you like these houses. I had so much fun building them and I'm just, I'm really happy with the way that they turned out. And I've really been in the mood to build family houses and do just like a bunch of family related things in these Sims because of the new pack that we're getting in a few weeks or like in a little bit over a month, I think maybe like a month and a week or something like that. It's coming out on March 16th. So in like five-ish weeks, perhaps, I don't know know but in not too long we're getting the new pack and i'm just really excited about it and i just i don't know i'm so excited to get all of the new items and to get all of the like new gameplay features and i'm also just so excited for the infants to come out they're coming out on the 14th of march so two days before if you did not know that and i just think it's so exciting and i cannot wait to play with all of these new things and decorate houses with you know infant bedrooms and decorate houses with all of the new furniture that we're getting in the pack i'm just so excited about it 
it. I feel like as I've gotten older, I've really come to love the like anticipation period for something that you're super excited about because I cannot wait for this pack to come out. But at the same time, I'm not like wishing that March 14th would be like today or something because I feel like as I've gotten older, I've just started to like not really wish my days away as much as I did when I was younger. And I don't really want to take my days for granted anymore as much as I did when I was little. And I would just be like, oh my God, why can't I have this pack now? Or like, why is it not my birthday yet why can't i go on this vacation yet and like just be so impatient about these exciting things but now as i've gotten older i feel like the anticipation is what's actually like the most exciting and good thing in a lot of situations and sometimes the exciting thing is sometimes a bit of a letdown so i really do like to feel the excitement and whatnot and i've just really come to like that so i don't know i guess i just wanted to share that because i feel like it's just so important to not like always wish your days away and just kind of like waste these days that you've got right now so yeah anyway whatever as i did say i am dark sitting and he's really really cute like so adorable and i really really enjoy spending time with him and i have dark sat him before i did talk a little bit about this in my last video but i have dark sat him before i think like five six months ago or something so i do know him and the thing is like he's currently sleeping behind me which is really cute and that's why you might be able to hear him snoring a little bit once in a while but yeah he's really cute and i was sitting there like on my chair where he's sleeping right now a few minutes ago and I, we were just like hanging out and having a good old time and now he's just like sitting there by himself but it was really fun <laughs> and when he's inside and just in my house and not on a leash he's so nice like the cutest little dog ever he's so kind and so loving and whatnot but when he like gets his leash on and he goes outside to go for a walk he becomes like a completely different dog like he just does a complete 180 and I don't really understand it because like he's super well raised in most aspects and he's so nice and like very polite and he doesn't really bark or misbehave in any way but he does not know how to walk on a leash and i don't understand why his parents like didn't train him to walk on a leash because he's so bad at it but so good at like everything else so i don't understand and he's like a little monster i call him monster max when he's uh, walking because he's just like a completely different dog <laughs> i really don't get what went wrong because obviously they put a lot of work into raising him but like what <laughs> it's just so strange and honestly like i don't really like to walk him and i feel bad about that because then i kind of like procrastinate doing it and i don't really go on like fun walks with him but it's just so frustrating to walk him because he pulls so much on his leash and he's like so mean to other dogs like at least to male dogs not really to female dogs outside but he's not very nice to like other boy dogs and i just i don't want to walk him <laughs> I mean, obviously I do it because you should be doing that and whatnot, but I just, I don't really want to because he's just not nice, but he's so sweet when he's inside and he's so cuddly and just so cute and whatever, but when he's outside, it's a completely different story and it's just so odd, but his mom has like said that when she walks him, he's like fine and he doesn't have any issues with walking on a leash or anything, but when he walks with like anybody but his mom, he's just like so uncontrollable, <laughs> so it's just like odd. Even when his dad walks him, he just like does not know how to walk on a leash i don't know it's just so strange but yeah anyway he's a bit of a menace when he's outside but so so cute right now and when he's inside and whatnot and he's so cute to minnie and he's kind of scared of him minnie is my other dog like my own dog and he's kind of scared of her because minnie is a bit of a mean old lady and <laughs> she is not a fan of other dogs so she's especially not really a fan of like another dog being in her house and taking up some of her attention and if he like gets even like a little bit close to her food she will be like so upset i mean like don't worry nothing major has happened and no one has gotten injured or anything like that but she is very protective of her food and whatnot and she's also very protective of us because she's super jealous and it's really funny because now that max has gotten to know us better and he has gotten to know Minnie better he has started to feel super protective of us as well so there's like a lot of jealousy between the two of them and they really just like both want all of our attention at every minute of the day you know and then at nighttime when we're on the couch and whatever the like best spot for a dog to be is on my chest i guess and just like on my lap or something like that just on me so i don't get to sit on the couch by myself at all the second i sit on there one dog will like fly up to me and because they like see that the spot is open so they just like run and they go sit on my lap or on my chest or something like that <laughs> and up until like a few days ago minnie was definitely the one who got to control and like decide 
decide who would be sitting on me and like who got to do that. So like if Max would be sitting on me and Minnie wanted to do it instead, she would just jump up into the couch and Max would be really scared and run down and then Minnie would just like take the spot. But now, like the other day, Max was sitting on me and then Minnie came up to the couch and he like barked at her, which I think is really funny. And I just, I think it's good that Max has started to feel so comfortable that he isn't scared of like telling Minnie off when she does things that he doesn't like. <laughs> so I don't know. I think that's funny. And like, they aren't violent with each other or anything like that. Like they just bark at each other. Like it's nothing serious at all. But yeah, I don't know. I think that's really funny. And both Minnie and Max are used to being the only dogs in the house. So they're not used to like having other dogs around. In Minnie, she has kind of like a bit of a hard time communicating with other dogs because she is deaf. So there are like a lot of codes and signals that she misses that other dogs send to her. So yeah, she kind of like misunderstands the situations pretty often and she isn't like the best dog at like communicating with other dogs. It's not like a problem for us to communicate with her because we have our own way of doing it and she's been deaf for like eight years i think yeah she became deaf when she was four and she's 12 now so about eight years so it's like something we're so used to and we don't even like think about it ever but it is very obvious when she's around other dogs because there are a lot of like signals that she misses so i don't know she's kind of like a bit on edge when other dogs are around and she gets startled easily and she's kind of like not really super friendly towards them because she just doesn't really understand these social cues and whatnot which is kind of sad but yeah he's really like nice and respectful towards her and it's only like sometimes that he sort of gets a little bit defensive but i think it's okay that he is defensive because he's allowed to tell her off when she's being rude <laughs> so yeah i don't know but they're just really cute and fun and i really enjoy dog sitting him but originally i thought that i was gonna have him for about a week and a half because that was the plan but then the plan changed so i'm actually gonna give him back tomorrow which i'm really sad so i'm only gonna have him for a week in total so i'm really sad that i won't have him for as long as i was hoping and I thought originally but yeah I've had a good time with him so far and I hope that I will get to dog sit him again in the future and his parents have said that they want me to like take care of him whenever they go out of time again because I'm their favorite dog sitter so I'm really happy about that but yeah I don't know I really enjoy having him here and he's just so cute and fun for the most part at least <laughs> but yeah I don't know he doesn't get into any trouble at all and he's just so easy to take care of so I could not wish for a better dog and yeah next week I'm gonna be cat sitting I really do enjoy pet sitting just like in general, but yeah, the cats aren't like staying with me I'm just going into their house because they're my neighbor's cats So I just cat sit in her house, but yeah, I really do enjoy taking care of animals I love them so much. So that's really really fun. Wow I really did go on a tangent about my dogs right there I did not mean to do that <laughs> But that kind of like reminds me because I did hear that some of the sim gurus I think said that the new infants are also like gonna be able to interact with pets with which I'm really really excited about and I was kind of like nervous that, that they weren't gonna like include anything with the infants and the pets because obviously the cats and dogs they came out a long time ago so I was kind of scared that they would forget about them and just not add any interactions between the two like kinds <laughs> so I was really scared about that but they are gonna have some cute little interactions that they can do so I'm really excited about that and I think that when toddlers and pets interact in this game it's so so adorable so I'm really excited to see what the infants can do with the pets and all of that stuff and also like speaking of animals in the sims the sims team has been hinting horses like crazy lately which is really interesting and i really would like horses in this game because i absolutely loved having horses in the sims 3 like it was my favorite thing i feel like most if not all of my households had them even if i lived in bridgeport which was like the most city-esque world in the sims 3 i would have a horse like i did not care i wanted to have horses so bad so yeah i don't know that's because i really really wanted to have a horse in real life when i was little and i really wanted to do horseback riding and whatnot but i never got to do that because that's like extremely expensive and it just would not have been realistic for me and my family because it is so expensive and also like my parents would have to drive me there so often because i think that the only options for like doing horseback riding in my free time when i was a little was where you would like go do it twice a week for many hours and then like my parents would have to drive me there twice a week so that just like would not be realistic for me at all so i was really sad about that but then I just played with my horses in the Sims 3 and that was really fun. So I really played with horses a 
lot and I really would like to have horses in The Sims 4 as well. I think that would be really, really fun. But I am curious to see how they would implement it if they did do it because like how are you gonna like be traveling on a horse when you've, we've got all of these like loading screens and just closed off neighborhoods? Like, I don't know, that seems a little bit odd, but I am very excited nonetheless. So I really hope that we are getting them and they're not just like teasing them and hinting them for fun. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Please do let me know in the comment section how you would feel about having horses in the game if you think it's like a fun thing and you would like it or if you just feel like it would be a little bit odd in a game like The Sims 4 and you don't really feel like they would be good in this game because I would really like to know. As I said, I really would like to have them because I just like horses a lot and animals in general. So I feel like it would be really fun and I can imagine like the world that we would get with a pack like that would be very like farmish and have a lot of fields and like, you know, open fields that we could ride our horses on and I feel like that would be very nice and pretty and I really just like farmish worlds in this game. So I would really like to have some more of them and I feel like we don't have like a very farmish world. Obviously we have the one from cottage living Hanford on Bagley but that's just like not really the vibes that I am thinking of when I think of like a farmish world so <laughs> yeah I don't know I feel like we would get something different in a horsey pack and I would really like that but let me know how you feel about it can you hear Max snoring right now he is definitely snoring quite a bit it is currently 11 30 p.m so he has gone to bed by now and he's just relaxing and you know having a good time I guess yeah I don't know I'm just sitting here and doing my little video, finishing it up. I'm kind of like <laughs> stressed at the moment because I've got a lot of school stuff going on that I'm really not happy about and I just I feel like I'm under a lot of pressure at the moment. So I really just want to get this video out soon. I'm not posting it until tomorrow, but yeah, I don't know. It's currently 11.30 and I'm just sitting here vibing and, you know, trying to relax and whatnot, but I'm just, I don't know, feeling very anxious. <laughs> but yeah, it's fine. It's all good, I guess. But I hope you guys also like the interior of this house because as i said i really do enjoy you know like the way that it looks and i also just really enjoy making it and i feel like all of the rooms turned out pretty okay i mean i do have some that i like more than others but i don't have any that i like don't like i feel like the weakest room in this house is the kids bedroom for just one kid and then i really like all of the other ones but i feel like sometimes when i build or like most times when i build i have like a lot of rooms that i really really like and that i'm just like so happy with and then i have others that i'm just is, like not really super happy with and I just like couldn't really make them work but I feel like most or like all of these rooms in this house are pretty good and then there's like one that's like a little bit less good but like I still think it's it's good if that makes any sense as I did say it's late so my brain has been fried right about now so if it doesn't make sense I'm so sorry but like that's just how it is today I guess I don't know <laughs> but yeah I really do like the way that the interior and how, how like this lot in general just turned out I think it's very cozy and cute and family-esque and yeah I don't know I've just been in a family focused mood <laughs> just because I'm so excited for the new pack and I think the thing that I'm like the most excited about that I saw in the trailer is the tree houses that our sims can build I feel like that's such a fun thing to implement because one of my favorite things in the sims 3 to add to my lots was a tree house that came from the generations pack and that was such a fun thing and I really was hoping that we would get something similar to that because we don't have tree houses that we like can just plop down on a lot in the sims 4 currently but I'm really excited about the fact that we're getting them and I think it's even more fun that we can like actually build them with our sims so it becomes like a fun activity for the family to do I feel like that's such a fun idea and I'm so happy that the sims team decided to go that way with the tree houses I think it's gonna be so so fun to do and I just I cannot wait so that's exciting <laughs> and I feel like I've been talking too much about my dogs today in this video and also just like in my past few videos it's like all I've been talking about lately but I do have one little story that I want to share about Max before I end off this video so yesterday like last night when Minnie and him were going out in the backyard to pee before they went to bed just so you know they wouldn't wake us up in the middle of the night to go out and pee we took them out in the backyard and then we had like some laundry that was just drying outside because that's just how we do it normally and then Max peed on some of the things 
on the clotheslines and mm, yeah that was not great that was not great at all he peed on these bed sheets and my mom and i were like outside in the backyard with them and then he just like peed on it and he didn't know that he was doing anything wrong but then we were like oh my god max what did you do you know because like we're not used to you know having a boy dog that just pees up against stuff because minnie just sits down on the grass and does her business she doesn't pee up against like bushes and the sheets and, <laughs> and whatnot so yeah i don't know we're not used to not being able to hang stuff up outside and whatnot but yeah that was just a little bit silly so that bed she definitely had to go back into the laundry basket and it has been washed now so <laughs> Yeah, anyway, that was just a bit of a mess that Max cost yesterday, but he had no idea that he did anything wrong, so that's just silly. But yeah, anyway, whatever, that's just a fun little anecdote, I suppose, about dog sitting. But yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching. I'm sorry that this voiceover sort of ended up being a bit of a mess. I feel like I always apologize at the end of my voiceovers for making them messy, but mm, you know what? That's just how my voiceovers are. That's, that's how it is. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching. As I said, I hope you did enjoy this video even though it was weird but if you did please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed already and you enjoy my content i would really really appreciate it but you know you don't have to and you can download these houses on my gallery page my id is lazy elena and besides all of that i hope you're having an amazing amazing day and then i cannot wait to see you all in my next video that i will be posting in just a few days so bye everybody